I find it no coincidence that we live in a culture congested of distractions. We're surrounded by constant screens, endless scrolling, non-stop notifications, 24-hour news cycles, and at times life can feel exhausting and intrusive with everything and everyone constantly competing for the attention of our minds. And we wonder why our inspiration races at the speed of inconsistency like, like the mood swings of a woman. Husbands, you can laugh at that. And unless your wife's right next to you, then you probably shouldn't. <laughs> See, our inspiration swings on the pendulum of one day being inspired and uninspired the next. It really just depends on how we feel. What I'm trying to say is, I think we've got it mixed up. I think somewhere along the lines, we've believed a lie. I think that we think we have all the time in the world, that we could settle down in the dumps of our distraction or camp out in the coziness of our comfort as though there was not a cross to be carried before wearing a crown. And I'm afraid to admit it, but to be quite frank, our souls are living in the dilemma of a fallacy. We say we believe, yet we're living like this is all just fantasy. See, our DNA carries the cure to a cancer called death. And the world is on the other line waiting, dying, in need of a blood transfusion. Yet here we are, refusing to answer because we've been crippled by the danger of what it would be like to let go of our crutch answer the call and actually take our royal position to break the boundaries borders and barricades of all we have ever known to disregard protocol and stand in power to lace our words with the tenderness of a lamb to muzzle the mouth of insecurity and move with the confidence of a lion to mark a new spot on the map of uncharted territories called revival. We have no rival, no real competitor nor contender, so throw us in the ring. No need to tap out. You'll hear the bell ring before the twelfth round. And when the world begins to hook our attention and our faith begins to feel rocky, we'll remember the creed in which we stand upon is unmatched and victorious. If death can't defeat us and the gates of hell can't prevail, then what do we have to fear? What do we have to fear. We have forgotten that we too once held darkness so dear, like a mother holds a newborn baby. We thought the darkness would comfort us, but it only sought to destroy us. And even still, in the crevices of our depravity, in the valley of our shadows, in the presence of our death, light came, beckoning to detonate upon our darkness. It met us. We didn't go meet it, it came and met us. And now our hope rests on the bedrock of a billion promises. But see, I know a woman who has never held hands with permanent. She only knows the loose grip of temporary, for he is her soothsayer and he comforts her with his lies. She knows no truth, yet we're silent. We're silent, forgetting of the woods and the shadows that we once embraced and finally escaped, but praise, praise to the one who shed light in my woods to guide me out, the one who is both guide and God, compass and creator. We stand with the one who has strategically placed us on these coordinates for such a time as this that the work of our hands would not be a mask, but would be a map pointing to the miracle himself. So that they would know. So God, may these hands go to contortionist lengths to carry living water to the deserts of the destitute, that they would know there is no journey you wouldn't embark on to satisfy their thirst. May these hands Paint the galaxies of your goodness 
that they would know the constellations of confusion in their mind is not too foreign for the Father. For if your love travels as far as from the east to the west, then there is no hemisphere that the wingspan of your grace cannot reach. May these hands, may these hands write the melody that a broken record will sing and find wholeness despite their fragments. And even as the tables turn, their distortion will find destiny. So may these hands create so that they would know their creator, God. May these hands create so that they would know you.